So I chucked this together today, right? It's the El Cheapo Quickie <laughs> Movie Trivia Quiz. Now, if you're not an expert in Flash Gordon, don't stress because it's all multiple choice, right? Enough of the talking. Let's start answering questions, shall we? So, folks, first one, as I said, bit of mucking around. Who was Zarkov's assistant? Funnily enough, we saw a picture of him earlier. Was it A, Bunsen? Was it B, Munson? Was it C, Funson? Or was it D, Igor? <laughs> so, can, I, uh, can I phone a friend, Eddie? Yeah, good on you. So, uh, but we saw that we saw the photograph of him earlier, dude who ended up in Star Wars and raised the Lost Ark. So he's been around and done very well for himself. And uh, yes, yeah, very very cool. All right, next question. So as I said, keep your own score. We're having a bit of fun with this. All right. So who was the leader of Ardentia? Was it Prince Baron, Prince or A Prince Baron, B Prince Thun, C Prince Volton, or D Prince Edward? <laughs> <laughs> A bit of sounds, sounds like a dental floss, uh, Dentia. Yeah, I know. Uh, it does, eh? So, uh, yeah. And all these are mentioned on screen too, by the way. So and I don't have to really think about which ones are the right ones to uh, to ask because there was a couple of really good questions I could have put forward, but a little bit uh, difficult for some people. So there you go. All right, question three. Which organisation does Clytus work for? A, the Imperial Federal Police, B, the Imperial Intelligence Police, C, the Imperial Secret Police, or D, ASIO? So, ASIO. Uh, there you go. Either you, either you two know the answer to this one? I'm having a guess. All right. Very, very cool. So there you go. What do you reckon it is? I'm thinking that it was going to be C, but that seems too obvious. So I was going to go B, but that's right. just my uh, my guess. MPS? I was, I was going to say C. All right. Cool. I'll get the answers later on. Very good. All right. So there's only seven questions, so we're going to get through this pretty quickly. Question four, what magazine does the plane's co-pilot hold up featuring Flash on the cover? Is it A, oh, people, B, Life, C, Women's Weekly, or D, The Force, which was the news that I, I edited for the Star Walking fan club. So <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so it's definitely not D. So there you go. There's a hint for you. So uh, there you go. It's uh, one of those things. You go, yeah, yeah, very cool. Look at there's all the letters are coming through. See, people are writing the answers, but I don't know which question they're answering. So. <laughs> People answering <laughs> question also, one. Now here's the, I love this one. Bonus point. What was the name of the co-pilot's kid? Because he wants an autograph from Flash Gordon. And he actually asked, what's the kid, the name of the kid? Freaking ridiculous name, but uh, there you go. There's the bonus point. So there you go. Question five. Once married to Ming, Dale was to obtain what title? Empress of the hour, Empress of the week, Empress of the month, or the just as the missus? <laughs> 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 oh dear so there you go either you two got an idea for this one? Oh yeah I know this one yeah it's a bit of an easy these are easy I, I could have made really really hard questions but I chose not to so there you go alright two to go question six name the ship dispatched to bring back Flash Gordon's body is it A. Detol B. Pinoclean D. C. C. Ajax or D. Nifty <laughs> well this one they name in the Queen song so uh, everyone think of the song and uh, it'll come to you well, actually, Colin mentioned it earlier, but he got the name wrong. He actually said two names, and only one of them was correct. So and I'll, I'll get to that in the answer. Well, so Pino cleans two names. What? Pino cleans two names. That's true. The, the O, what does the O stand for? Yeah, it's very it's, good. It's and finally, all right, when you want answers quickly, you need to whip out the what? A, the ball worms, B, the more worms, C, the tall worms, or D, just bring out the nerds. Yeah, nerds. <laughs> Oh dear. Very, very, very good. Uh yes. All right. So very that's anyway. So I hope you've got your own answers there. As I said, I just mm -hmm. made this update. It was just a bit of mucking around. So <laughs> if you don't get seven out of seven, actually be eight because you got the bu the bonus question. I'd be very disappointed. You should at least get your eight questions right. All right, answers. So let's get into it. Straight to muck around. Who was Zarkov's assistant? Now, what did you two think? Uh, I thought Munson. Yeah. Okay, what are you MPS? Yeah, B Munson. Yeah, very good. So Munson is correct. All right. So he only mentions his name like once, I think. Um, so sorry, Munson, missed your opportunity. So, uh, yes, very, very cool. All right. So who was the leader of Ardentia? So uh, uh, what do you two think? Prince Thumb. What about you, MPS? Oh, I was going to say A. Really? Prince Baron? No, he's in charge of uh, Arborea, mate. So uh, actually, uh, uh, Jeffro was correct. It was, it was Prince Thun. That's what he tries to stab uh, Ming. And it's one of, probably one of the rare times they actually have different coloured blood 
in like sci-fi movies. So instead of being red, it was like blue or something. So you can have as much gore as you want because blue blood nobody really gives a shit. So uh, uh, I thought that was quite good. But Prince Fun. So uh, yeah, he mentions his name on screen. So there you go. All right, Q3. Which organization does Clytus work for? So now, uh, Jeffrey, you said B, is that right? I thought B, but I mean, the answer I think is probably C, but it just seems too obvious. What about you, MPS? Well, I, I was saying C. C, yeah, you're absolutely right. The Imperial, General Clytus oh, of the Imperial Secret Police. So, uh, as I said, gone with the gut. Yeah, there you go. So, you could have gone with Asia if you wanted to. So, uh, there you go. <laughs> very, very cool. All right. So, what magazine does, uh, I actually got the answer right there. So, does the Flames Co. Planes Copola hold up. Yeah, it's People, People. Magazine. So, yeah. yeah. Did you, either of you two know that one? I did, actually. I didn't even know the pic it was in the picture, but uh, I did know that one. Yeah, very good. I was hoping someone would pick the force because I could have done a, a, a newsletter cover with uh, what's his name on it. So uh, there you go. Very, very cool. Uh, yes, it was People Magazine uh, for those who didn't know. And the bonus point, what was the name of the dude's kid? Anybody know? Uh, Rapunzel. You're very close, actually, in, in a lot of ways. Um, what do you reckon? <laughs> Like so he says, like Mr. Gordon, can you autograph this for my kid? Sure. What's his name? Uh, what do you reckon it is? Bob. <laughs> ah, you're very close. No. You both are actually very, very close. Does start with a B. It is Buzz. What a freaking stupid name for a kid. So um, there you go. How good is that? Eh? Very, very cool. Buzz. Hey, Buzz. Yeah, there you go. Very good. All right, so let's move on, shall we? Uh, once married to Ming, Dale was to obtain what title? So you two should. This is an easy one. So Empress of the Hour. Empress of the Hour. Empress yeah. of the Hour. Exactly right. You know, not to blast her into space until such grow time as you grow weary of her. I do. I do not. So, uh, yes, exactly right. Empress of the Hour. So uh, Ming the Merciless, ruler of the universe. Exactly. Very, very cool. So there you go. Uh, very good. Uh, yeah, yeah, Kelvin. Uh, yeah, Buzz. That wasn't his real name. That was just the nickname, Buzz Aldrin. So, uh, if I'm not mistaken, so would that be right? Yeah. You're an uh, astronaut. Yeah, people nodding their heads. Yeah, yeah that is, that's, so there that's actually right. It's his nickname. And and Buzz in 1980, I think, would have been a lot older than uh, the kid that uh, for the pilot. So there you go. All right. So Q6. All right. Name the ship dispatched to bring back Flash's body. I know some people have answered this one already. Uh, you two. What do you reckon it is? Ajax. Very good. Now, um, uh, Colin said earlier, Warhawk and Ajax. No, it's War Rocket. Dispatch War Rocket Ajax to bring back his body. You've got to get the body right. The, the, the pronunciation is very, very important. So there you go. Body. So uh, there you go. And what's her name, by the way? Um, Queen of the Nile. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. The is her name's mentioned on screen as well. MPS, you should know this. You only saw the movie a couple of days ago. Yeah, I was asleep through that part. Oh, so there you go, General <laughs> Carla. So there you go. So uh, she's a bit of a mean. I mean. Remember when she died? She just melted into like black oil, which is kind of groovy. So uh, they're very very cool, actually. Uh, and speaking of Star Wars references, uh, when um, uh, Zarkov says to remove an image from one of the agents, the agent they're taking it off is John Hollis, and of course he appeared in the Empire Strikes Back as what? Uh, Admiral Motti. No. MPS, any ideas? As an AT-AT? Uh, no. No, he was Lobot. Actually, he was the ball guy. So, oh, uh, yeah, of course. Yes, because he's they're all bald. You know, all those dudes, you know. I've got to, yes. Yes. Yeah, strange object image in the Imperial Vortex. Oh, you got to know your quotes. All right, and Ajax, and lucky last, when you want answers quickly, what do you need to whip <laughs> What do you need to whip out? All right, guys, what do you need to whip out? Um, I'm guessing ball worms. Very, very good. MPS, what do you reckon? Uh, cool worms. Nah, ball worms. Not the ball worms. Oh, please, not the ball worms. Because we have no idea what the ball worms are. In the book, it's covered a little bit more as to what they are. Uh, and, of course, Clytus then later says to Flash that he actually thought she actually quite enjoyed it. So, uh, uh, yeah, make of that what you will. But, yeah, not the ball worms. But it's, it seems to be like the old cartoons, like, oh, no, not the ball worms. Oh, yeah, all this sort of thing. So it was almost quite laughable. Not so the thinker. Anything but the thinker. <laughs> so there you go and that's the end of it so is it the end remember at the end of the movie you said the end and yeah. had the question marks when uh, someone's picked up the ring 